Hi everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel where you can learn more about English. I am certain that this video lesson will surely be another fun and interesting lesson in English 8. Have you uttered our prayers this morning? That's nice if you have. This time, let's have a recap on our previous lesson. Can you still recall what we discussed last episode? Right you are! We discussed about transcoding information from linear to nonlinear text and vice versa. So, what are linear and nonlinear texts? Of course, linear texts are traditional texts which you can read from beginning to end to make sense of the text. While nonlinear texts are not required to be read from beginning to end. Since linear texts are the most common, can you give me an example of nonlinear texts? Great! Examples are line graph. Venn diagram, bar graph, pictograph, and other forms of graphic organizers. Wow! You've all been studying so well! Before we go any farther, I want you to guess the correct term with these jumbled letters as your clue. Make sure that you have your papers and pens with you so that you can write the letters. That way, it would be easier for you to give a guess on what the terms are. And oh, before I forget, make sure that you have a dictionary by your side because you will be needing to find the meaning of our first word later on. Are you ready? The first is... Answer? Yes, it's expository. Very good. The next one is Answer Of course, it's tables. Next one. Correct. The term is graph and the last one, right again, the answer is maps. Now, who can enumerate all of the words we have identified through the jumbled letters? Mm -hmm. Fantastic! The words are expository, tables, graphs, and Maps. Now, since I asked you a while ago to bring with you a dictionary for the meaning of the first term, which is expository, can you now tell me what it means? Uh huh. Precisely. The word expository relates to the terms exposition which refers to discourse or an example of it designed to convey information or explain what is difficult to understand. Why do you think there is a need for us to define what expository means? That's right! It's because our lesson for today is all about expository text, which utilize tables, graphs, and information maps. Specifically, our concentration will be for you to explain visual-verbal relationships in such text features of expository text. So, what exactly is an expository text? An expository text is a type of informational text that provides factual information about a topic using a clear, non-narrative, 
organizational structure with a major topic and supporting information. In addition, it is when information is presented with a clear organizational text structure which includes but is not limited to description, chronology, comparison, cause and effect, and problem, so or solution. In addition, the language in expository text is precise, specific to subject, and includes domain-specific vocabulary to explain concepts and information. So, are you now ready to explore the text features of expository text? That's the energy! Let's now have the first one, the table. Can anyone tell me what the table is? You're right! A table is a set of facts and figures arranged in columns and rows and is a very useful way of organizing numerical information or data. How about the next feature? That's true! The next one is a graph. What then is a graph? Correct! It is a chart or drawing that shows relationship between changing things. It is a diagram displaying the relationship between numbers or amounts. Most graphs use bars, lines, or part of a cycle to display data. Are you now ready for the last one? Alright, the last one is a map. A map is a graphical device drawn to scale to represent whole or a part of a specific area. This includes symbols, a legend, and a scale. I know that you are all familiar with what a map is aside from your pre-existing ideas on tables and graphs. There you have it! Those are the different text features of our lesson today. For you to better understand all three, let's have some example. Please refer to your learning activity sheet on pages 2 to 3. The article published by the Summit Express is about the Philippines Championship in SEA Games 2019. Shown in the table is the medal tally of the different Asian countries. I'll be giving you one minute to read and study the text carefully. Then, answer questions on your notebook. Timer starts now. Well, that's up! Your time is done! Are you now ready for the visual verbal explanation of the table found on the article? Oh, I know you are! So, lend me your ears because it's time to answer question number one. Which among the countries garnered the highest number of bronze medals? That's correct! Thailand garnered the highest number of bronze medal. Question number 2. How many medals has the country Philippines won? Correct! The Philippines won 385 medals. It's now time to proceed to question number 
or what does the following information trying to show us? Brilliant! The row or column tell us the name of our competing countries with their respective total number of each of the medals they won. How about the table? Exactly! The table shows a clear graphical illustration of the classification of medals as to the number and kind of medals received by the competing countries. Question number 5. What other information in the table are not presented from the text or vice versa? You're very good! The winning moment of Gilas Pilipinas, volleyball team and beach handball as well as the other competing countries and the medals they received were not presented in the table. Very well said! You have such keen eyes! And for the last question, what conclusion or conclusions can you draw from the table? Excellent! I see you have different conclusions, but you all got a point. Well done! Intelligent grade 8 students! I think that's a wrap for the first expository text feature, which is the table. Since you seem to be all eyes and ears on our lesson, I would like you to answer activity 2 found on the pages 4 to 5 of your learning activity sheets. Ball pens and notebooks ready? Mm -hmm. You're alert! In this activity again, I'm giving you 2 minutes to label correctly the graph based on the text you will read entitled Coronavirus Disease or COVID-19 Situation Report in the Philippines. Minds be ready because timer starts now. A few minutes later. Here are the answers. So, did you get all of the correct answers? I'm sure you did because you are very attentive. Great participation, dear learners! Whoa, that was indeed an exercise for the mind. So, have you all understood how the three features illustrated in the expository text? When you see a table, a graph, or an information map, will you be able to explain their visual-verbal relationship to an expository text? Brilliant! You have gone so far today, grade 8. Now, for your final test today, I want you to read and understand the information I am about to flash. This is the highlights and recent updates on COVID-19 issue 41 as of June 8, 2020. Don't worry because you will choose only one from the highlights or updates then create a graph or table based on what you have chosen. You may draw your table or graph on your activity notebook. You ready? I hope you have taken notes and have chosen the highlight that you want to illustrate because your two-minute timer begins now. A few minutes later. Tick-tock. Time's up again, kids. Now, let me see if you answered our activity based on my instruction. Stop writing and let's check 
your outputs. Please have someone check your table or graph by calling your big bro, big sis, older cousins, or your parents. So, were you able to finish the activity? Do you think you all created a table or graph correctly using the information you have selected? If you are really sure that you did your best output, you deserve a resounding round of applause. And that ends our academic journey in English 8. I hope that you did enjoy our lesson today. On our next episode, make sure that you will again be prepared for another fun and exciting lesson made just for you. Once again, brilliant learners, this is Teacher Red saying God bless and keep safe everyone. Goodbye!